In order for connection to happen, we have to allow ourselves to be seen, really seen. The one thing that keeps us out of connection is our fear that we're not worthy of connection. We pretend that what we do doesn't have an effect on people. We just need you to be authentic and real and say, we're sorry, we'll fix it. We perfect, most dangerously, our children. When you hold those perfect little babies in your hand, our job is not to say, look at her, she's perfect. Our job is to look and say, you know what? You're imperfect and you're wired for struggle, but you are worthy of love and belonging. How do you handle the coming winters and the disappointments and the downtimes? Well, you can't get rid of January by tearing it off the calendar. One of the best ways to describe life, it's like the seasons. The winters won't change, but you can. And that's how life changes for you. The last 6,000 years reads like this, opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's how it reads. It isn't gonna change. The man says, well, if it isn't gonna change, how will my life ever change? Answer, when you change. For things to change for you, you've got to change. Otherwise, it isn't going to change. You're more than welcome to tell me about how bad it is or why you can't because or what, but it's just not true. Because if anybody ever did it, then you can too. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. Nobody's listening. They may make pretend they're listening. The market doesn't care. You know why I like making people happy? because I'm already happy. And so I implore you to take this last little rant and really look at your fucking face and understand are you doing the things that are putting you in a position to succeed, not just in a business world, but in life. The biggest poison in us is regret. One fucking life. One life, my friends, one time. And honestly, I'll leave you with this because a lot of you need it. How you make your money is more important than how much you make. You make everything you're complaining about infinitely worse. There's this idea that hell is a bottomless pit and that's because no matter how bad it is, some stupid son of a bitch like you could figure out a way to make it a lot worse. Stunned every day when I go outside and it isn't a, r a riot with everything burning. Because really, God, you talk to people, it's like, there's all these ruined people out there, they've got problems like you can't believe. Off they go to work and do things they don't even like. And look, the lights are on. My God, it's unbelievable. It's, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. And we're so ungrateful. Put yourself together. And then maybe if you put yourself together, you know how to do that. You know what's wrong with you, if you'll admit it. You know there's a few things you could like polish up a little bit that you might even be able to manage in your insufficient present condition. And so you might shine yourself up a little bit and then your eyes will be a little more open and then you can shine yourself up a little bit more. Everything you want, you can have instantaneously. Everything you want, instant gratification. Except job satisfaction and strength of relationships, there ain't no app for that. Too many kids don't know how to form deep, meaningful relationships. They will admit that many of their friendships are superficial. They will admit that their friends, that they don't count on their friends, they don't rely on their friends, they have fun with their friends, but they also know that their friends will cancel on them that something better comes along. Relationships are formed this way. We're waiting for a meeting to start and we go, how's your dad? I heard he was in the hospital. Oh, he's really good. Thanks for asking. He's actually at home now. Oh, I'm really glad. That was really amazing. I know, it was really scary for me. That's how you form relationships. Right? There are four, four things, four characteristics. One is parenting, the other one is uh, technology, the third is impatience, and the fourth is environment. The generation that we call the millennials, too many of them grew up um, subject to, not my words, failed parenting strategies. And so you have an entire generation that's growing up with lower self-esteem than previous generations. The other problem to compound it is we're growing up in a Facebook, Instagram world. In other words, we're good at putting filters on things. 
We're good at showing people that life is amazing even though I'm depressed. The worst case scenario, and we're already seeing it, the worst case scenario is we're seeing an increase in suicide rates, we're seeing an increase in this generation, we're seeing an increase in accidental deaths due to drug overdoses, we're seeing more and more kids drop out of school or take leaves of absence due to depression. Unheard of. These are all, this is, this is really bad. The best case scenario, the best, those are all bad cases, right? The best case scenario is you'll have an entire population growing up and going through life and just never really finding joy. They'll never really find deep, deep fulfillment in work or in life. They'll just, just waft through life and it'll be just, it's fine. How, how, how's your job? It's fine. It's the same as yesterday. How's your relationship? It's fine. Like that's, that's the best case scenario. You will go through things and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. But after you go through it, you get back and you look at it and you say, oh, now I understand why I needed that lesson. Whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company your ideas unquestionably you got to have faith and that faith gives you patience and some people ladies and gentlemen they stop because they don't see instant results it doesn't happen quickly they stop oh no 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 you got to keep on watering your dream and when it began to happen they stop laughing they said look whoa look, look here it's look, look up hey man you know i know you could do it look here you got a job here <laughs> See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. People know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. You are very passionate about your cause, which is great. What about someone who is unsure about their passion? They don't really have one. It's just they've sort of gone through life doing the typical uni yeah. work. What do you say yeah. to them? I would say you need to keep searching mm -hmm. until you found it. You know, when we think about our why, I mean, look at me. I found it within what? The last say three years okay so let's say 32 so for any 18 year old 25 year old out there wondering what's going on with their life where am i going i don't like the college i don't like the university i don't know what i want to do you don't have to have all the answers now you've just got to start planting seeds it doesn't start with trying to run up the mountain and get to the top, the top as quick as you can you know, people say, oh, I want to have it all figured out by the time I'm 30. You know, 30 is that age where I should have done this and I should have done that. I'm 35 and I'm just getting started. Simple. <laughs> I had my mask, like my new elements mask. And said, they said, oh, you look about 14 on that because you can't see your moustache. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I said, listen, good living, cocoa butter, good food. If you can get hold of a piece of paper and a pen, you've got nothing to complain about. Mm. Love that.